immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. This is so clearly <clears throat> a passage about the return of Christ and what people call the rapture immediately after the tribulation of those days. Well, you go to Joel chapter 2 and you see that, that Joel chapter 2 is talking about that this is before the day of the Lord. So it's after the tribulation, but before the day of the Lord, as I said earlier. But what's really interesting, you go to Rome, Revelation chapter 6 and you find out that the sun and moon aren't darkened until the sixth seal. So the pre trippers have a problem with this because the sixth seal is way into what they would call the tribulation period. And the rapture supposedly would have happened before the sixth seal. They think it happens before the first seal. And so, uh, therefore, uh, they, 30 they, seconds. they have to say that Matthew 24 is to the Jews in a future time. There's to the Jews in the tribulation period. And uh, again, this is, this is just not rightly dividing the word of truth, but wrongly dividing the word of truth.